Determine the absolute maximum and absolute minimum values of f of x equals 4x squared minus 8x plus 7 on the closed interval 0 to 3 halves. So when we're looking for absolute maximum and absolute minimum values, we're going to look at two things. We're going to look at the critical points. And critical points are made up of two things themselves. The critical points are either places where the derivative at the critical point is 0, or the derivative at that critical point does not exist. So those are the two places you would look for critical points. And then in addition to critical points, we're going to look at endpoints for the closed interval. So in this case, um, we have a polynomial. In fact, we have something that's going to look like a uh, parabola if you were to graph it. And we know that um, the derivative is going to exist everywhere. So we don't have to worry about the derivative not existing, uh, but we can find where the derivative is 0. So let's calculate the derivative. We have f prime of x. That's going to be 8x minus 8. And we're going to set that equal to 0. So that means that 8x must equal 8. And that means that x must be 1. So that's our critical point, 1. But we also want to check endpoints. So the endpoints are 0 and 3 halves. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at these values of x. And for each of those values, we're going to look at the value of the function. So we have 0. That's our first endpoint. We have 1. That's our critical point. And the critical point is in the interval of 0 to 3 halves. So that's good. If it wasn't in the interval, then we wouldn't need to check it because we're only looking for absolute maximum and absolute minimum values on this interval. But 1's in the interval, so we will include it. And then we have 3 halves. And so now we're going to find the value of the function at these three values. And you can do this uh, by uh, plugging into the function. So for instance, if x is 0, f of 0 would be, uh, well, this will be 0, this will be 0, and we'll just have 7. So that'll be 7. And so when x is 1, we have f of 1. And you can plug this in or do it on a calculator. You end up getting 3. And when x is 3 halves, f of 3 halves ends up being 4. So this tells us that our absolute maximum must be here. This is the absolute max. It has a value of 7. And this is the absolute minimum. So we did this all without graphing. We could take a look at the graph. This is the graph of the parabola right here. But remember, we are only concerned about the interval 0 to 3 halves. So that's this interval right here. So on this interval, you can see that we have our minimum value right here. And this minimum value is when x equals 1. And that value is 3. That's this right here, 1 and 3. And then our absolute maximum on this interval would be up here. And that's when x is 0. And we get a value of 7. And if you see x is 0, f of 0 is 7.